어, 이쁘네요. 예. 자, 뭐 이제. 하지도 않았는데 이쁘다고? 어, 아니, 그, 당신 얼굴 벌써 이쁘니까요. 그래요. 아. 여기서 놀네요. 네. 네, 맞습니다. 고맙습니다. 네. 네. 개만해미야. 어예 공사공사 공사 공사 개만해미. 오케이. 네. 수고 많습니다. 네. 네. 도와겠습니다. 땡큐. 네. Get a fresh cut straight out the blue salon, bitch. Uh -huh. oh. Fast and efficient. My favorite type of haircuts. Right, so, uh, and uh, service in Vietnam so much better. You get a haircut. You gotta. Get a little massage. Get a little relax. Um, oh, so incoming, EK Coffee. Finally here. So what is the missing link between you and achieving your fullest potential? So I mean you can't buy hot you can't buy happiness, but you could buy uh good coffee. So what I personally believe is that the missing link is uh Good coffee, right? So find Robusta is the way. So uh, wh why Robusta did it? So uh, I call this the white supremacy of coffee is that, you know, we've been indoctrinated by all these quote, quote coffee bros that 100% Arabica is supreme and everything else is uh, bad, right? And so Robusta is seen as like lesser quality, low class, blah, blahs. But the problem is that uh, people have just yet been able to figure out how to effectively extract it. So actually my personal thought is Robusta, fine Robusta is actually superior to Arabica. So why is it superior? Uh, so several reasons, um, first and foremost, It has higher caffeine content, so Robusta has at least 2.2x the amount of caffeine as Arabica. Secondly, uh, I mean, this is just my theory, right? Is that um, the sugar molecules of Arabica are naturally higher than that of Robusta. And therefore, if you consume Robusta, it's even from a, a health perspective, I think it's superior because there's less sugar content in Robusta, which means your body is gonna deposit less fat, aka adipose tissue, to your body. Um, 
and therefore I believe it to be critical for us to consider um, consuming robusta fine robusta is the way it's going to make you stronger more robust more productive more creative um, more entrepreneurial so super pumped to excite uh, to share that <laughs> launching the Eric Kim Omakase coffee portfolio so do you remember that scene in John Wick where <laughs> John's uh, John Wick is going to get his suit tailored or whatever, and he's like going to the <laughs> going to the tailor, right? And they're like, "What kind of event is this going to be? You know, formal, casual? Did it? What kind of the tactical? Did it? Right? So, imagine the same thing, but your coffee portfolio, your coffee omakase menu, in which you're going to get this super lit AF." coffee lineup to suit different interests yours so um, essentially we, ro we roasted this uh, new uh, several 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 roasts right the high-end uh, high-end robust uh, look the first luxury robust to hit the market right and you know it's a uh, the code name is Winey, W-I-N-E-Y, like wine. It's kind of like, imagine it has the body and the elegance of like um, a fine Zinfandel, right? I call this the entrepreneur. If you want to become more productive, maximize your productivity. This one's for you. It's going to come in a gold bag. Gold, golden productivity, liquid productivity, as I call it. Um, the other one, I'm going to call it child's mind so it's a uh it's gonna be a white bag it's going to be half uh or I mean, i'm still working on on the ideas anyways um one of one of the discretion colors but it's going to be called child's mind it's going to be optimized it's uh this one is 50 percent uh fine robust and actually 50 percent Liberica, which is um, kind of this uh, new type of coffee that's underdeveloped and exploited. Uh, it's actually from Liberia. Uh, it's it actually has lesser caffeine content than uh, than Arabica, and so I was like, take a fifty percent of our whiny fine Robusta and blend it 50-50 with Liberica, what would happen in the Liberica coffee, if you've never had it, it's very interesting. It's um, kind of like honey, honeydew, sweet, light, bright, floral. Uh, just very much like you would expect in a, a nice like Ethiopia, Yurgachefe, bright floral notes, uh, Arabica. And blend it 50-50. I'm gonna call this child's mind because it's gonna help you become more creative to think uh, carte blanche. Uh, carte blanche means white slate, white piece of paper, so it's going to come in a white bag. And the last one, I'm going to call it the... Okay, I'm going to have a different idea. But for now, the black one is going to be the, pho the photographer. The photographer's coffee. Photo coffee. It's going to be black. Black on black on black. Maybe backs on backs on backs. Stacks on stacks. So the concept is because it's black, because we love black and white photography. If you love color photography, that's cool too. So real photographers, not real photographers, everyone, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, I found that like a lot of photographers also, we love coffee. And so if you want more inspiration, motivation, and chutzpah, and more guts and uh, balls in your photography, the black one is for you. I'm gonna call it monochrome vision monochrome uh and yeah like if you need inspiration feel free to use this as espresso pour over v60 whatever have zoos um you could read it just drink it straight black that's why i recommend if you want to add some milk or you know creamer or sugar whatevs you could you could do as you please i, I prefer not but it's a it's a free country so yeah then it's gonna motivate you to put more uh movement to your legs 
help spur you into movement to make photos. And so yeah, I just treat this like uh, an experimental batch. In fact, like I think the quality of the coffee you consume might be more important than the quality of your camera, your lens, your iPhone, iPhone Pros, iPhone Pro Pro Pros Max, etc. is more important than your lamb, than your rolls, your Bentley. So yeah, I would say just uh, think about investing in the future. The future is your coffee, right? So how you uh, look at the description, um, find some uh, more deets. Uh, limited batches, yeah man. Uh, it's gonna be a limited batches uh, brews. Um, but yeah, this could be <laughs> the best thing to ever happen to coffee since uh, Staba. 